lemonade. Alright, can I get you anything else? Uh, that'll be all. Thank you. <laughs> you can't tell, but his tail, his little tail's wagging right there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You too. water. They didn't give it to you. Let mommy help you out though. This is a sweet tea from HTO. That's a, here you go Tank. Get some cubies. Go ahead. They didn't give you any, usually, I know, they didn't, I didn't want to ask because usually they just do it. Alright guys, I just got back from the store and now I'm going to show you what I got. First stop was Aldi and let's see, I got a bag of coleslaw and I like to make this when I'm uh, making my anything like Asian inspired. Uh, I do a um, egg roll in a bowl dish that I like to make with soy sauce and toasted sesame oil and some pork and I use the already cut up coleslaw and then this is the Aldi brand of the Chobani flips they call them tilts and they have a key lime version and these ones are 99 cents so they're about like 20 cents cheaper than the regular store uh, I do think that the Chobani ones are slightly better, but I mean, this is a very good knockoff. So I got those. And then they also did have the Chobani flips. I got one of these red, white, and pop-in style. It's lemon flavored yogurt with like pop rocks inside. So just uh, tis the season. Fourth uh, of July is coming up. And the main reason I went to Aldi was to get some eggs. I like to get their pasture raised eggs. These are $3.99. So I got two boxes of those. And um, according to this one guy I watch on YouTube, pasture raised are the kind of eggs that you want to get. You don't want to get cage free um, because they're still locked up in a cage and all that type of stuff. So pasture raised is when the chickens are living their best life and can just wander around and all that fun stuff. And the um, Aldi has one of the best prices around for them. So if you have an Aldi near you and you want to eat the best type of eggs, I would re highly recommend their pasture raised eggs. They're always affordable. 
more affordable than anywhere else I've looked. And the thing with the pasture-raised eggs that you'll notice right off the bat is the yolk of the egg is a very bright orange. So it's way more orange than any regular type of egg. The regular eggs kind of have more of like a yellow appearance, but this is really bright orange and that's the way you want it to be. Uh, I also picked up some potato rolls. We love potato rolls because I also picked up some hot dogs. And I like the, um, Aldi has a version of organic beef franks that are really good, but they only sell them in a pack of five and they're like $5 and 29 cents. And I just wanted to be a little more economical today. These pack of Nathan's in the eight pack were $4 and 29 cents. And this was $1.99. So I would have had to buy two packs of $5 hot dogs and would have spent like 10 bucks just on hot dogs. So I wanted to stick with the cheaper route because I'll probably throw them in the pan and fry them up for lunch today. And then I got some bananas because mine are already going bad. I like to put them in my smoothies and my yogurt bowls. And then I went down the, uh, what everyone calls the aisle of shame but to me, it's the best aisle in the store. Change it out every Wednesday. Um, and I just got a new turner because this one seems really flat compared to some of the other um, turner spatulas that I have. So it is gonna be hand wash only because of the wood, but I don't mind doing that. And then the other thing I always go to Aldi for are my energy drinks. I get the Red Thunder berry flavored extra strength. And I'm gonna set this one out for later. Usually take two of these a day. I don't drink much coffee anymore. It kind of spikes my blood sugar. So um, I'll pick up several of these a couple times a week. And when I see that they have them available. And because I was at Aldi, always need to bring your own bag. So um, and then my next stop was H-E-B. Oh, this is the bag. Okay. One of these bags I knew was ripped, but I needed to get bird seed. And I got two of these 10 pound bags. And I could tell one of them was ripped when I was bringing it in, but that's okay. But my birds and my bird feeder like the shell free seed. And we went through a lot of this bird food bird seed last week when you saw that we were feeding all those ducks so I need to stack up on this eventually when we have a, a spot to to put this type of stuff I want to get them in larger bags but my grocery store sells these for like six bucks a bag so and then also while at Heb had a stack up on the beef jerkies per Brendan's request he didn't like the uh, teriyaki beef jerky though, so we went with the regular. And then I picked him up some beef sticks again. And then picked up a couple more of these. I like the, I had one of these last night and I wanted to make sure I had more in the fridge. So I got two of the lemon meringue pies. They have um, pastry crumbles inside these ones and I really enjoy those. So I really like lemon flavor. I think there's a couple more Chobani's in there. Um, and then I got the, a red onion and a white onion. So for dinner one night, I'm gonna make a pot roast. And these are actually really nice. My grocery store sells these. These are reusable produce bags. So what you'll learn about me is that I like to be as environmentally friendly as possible. I believe that we all need to be stewards of this planet and do as little or as much as we possibly and physically can in order to preserve this planet. So um, I, I like to sprinkle some of my tips and tricks in there as I see necessary or what not to educate people because I firmly believe that um, everyone big or small needs to to work towards making the world a better place and doing it in an environmental sense so we can help the planet um all the plants and nature and 
beautiful things that this world has to offer that we can stand by that. And so that's all I'm gonna rant about there. I also picked up some ham and some more provolone cheese because we've been liking those Italian wraps that I've been making, which you'll probably see in this video. And like I said, I'm gonna make a pot roast in the crock pot. So I needed to pick up a thing of beef broth. I got the 50% low sodium. Also to go along with that, I don't, it's too hot to peel and bake potatoes. So I just got the, I like the Idahoan and usually any flavor of those are good. Went with the four cheese this time. Um, and then the other flavor I really enjoy the Chobani is the Rocky Road. The waffle pieces in there are really good. And then the Almond Coco Loco is really good too. So I highly recommend all of those flavors. And here is the pot roast I got. I got the uh, beef chuck shoulder roast, the boneless. And this is three pounds. So last time I made this, I made five pounds and it seemed like some of it went to waste. I was kind of eating it like days after the fact and um, I don't think I needed to make that much. And this was like a splurge. I've been wanting something sweet. So I got some blueberry muffins from the bakery section, 328 for these. I actually was gonna buy these at um, Aldi and I was like, no, I'm not gonna buy them. And then when I was in HEB, I just said, just do it. And then I always get um, a Diet Dr. B at HEB, these are only 99 cents. Best price for, uh, what is this, 12 ounce? 20 fluid ounce of soda, better than the dollar store price. So I went ahead and got that as like a special treat. I don't drink too much soda, but when I do, I drink it with a straw. So um, I drink everything out of a straw to help keep my teeth nice and white. I've been doing that for years on years, over decades. I got some corn to go with our pot roast. It's not gonna be as good as Jersey corn. New Jersey has some of the best corn, um, but I just got this. I got this out of convenience because there's only two of us and I didn't see corn in the husk lying around anywhere. So I just got those. And then I got this packet. I've used this several times now, the savory pot roast from crock pot brand. So I'm gonna use that when I make the pot roast. So that's the little small grocery haul. I got a couple of meals planned here. Now I'm gonna put everything away and I'll see you in the next clip. Tank's got a bone. <laughs> Tank. We use a prong collar on him. I know they're debatable, but um, it lets us restrain him because he is strong. He's about 83 pounds on a good day. And certain things will cause him to go nuts. All right. He wants to hide this bone. Sorry, buddy. So I'm going to let him go out here. See where he picks. Oh, right there. Did you hide it? Uh, there's probably a ton of bugs right there. It's all this bird seed. Yep. I can see all of the ants.
Where are you going? We're not going over there. 